Oh shit. Whoa. What happened? Whoa. Dude, that's sick. Okay, that was freaking cool. Alright guys, well, uh, I just loaded back in. This is uh, gonna be episode 3 of Layers of Fear VR. And I think it started me back just a little bit. Just, just a teensy little bit. Just a little bit, just that much. Okay, so get it right this time. But that's talking about the painting. And right here is where I ended it. First step is the hardest. Huh. Yeah, the uh, first step. Hey look, that's the kitchen. This looks like... This is a much more well-stocked kitchen. It seems. Excuse me? Hey. Um. Um. Excuse me? Hello? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going over there. Let's go, uh... Okay. Let's go over here, then. Oh, hey. Huh, good soup. If you're on TikTok, you know what that's from. So what what's going on in here? Hello? Somebody in there? I'll beat that ass. Don't make me do it. I learned how to fight in L.A. Noir. Okay. Alright, well, uh, maybe I can just leave. That'd be real cool. Nope. Alright, well that didn't do anything. Do I need to touch the door? Oh! Nope. 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 I'm going over here. Light. Please. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Excuse me. No. Put it back in the painting. Put, put, put it back. I like it better there. Please. What the hell is that? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Uh, Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. Oh, geez. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Uh. What? That's not... That's not okay, man. Oh, okay. We're back here now. Okay. What's up with our wall? Oh. It's all of the... The bad pictures. That's... Always good. Well, uh, I guess it's time to put the canvas on. What's it gonna look like? Okay. 
Okay. Nothing like some death flamingos. Wow. Weirdly enough, though, I know people that would pay for that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh, first I looked for a canvas, not just... Okay, so that's what I already read. Wow. Shape, Shapeless dreams. That's not good. Well then, it uh, looks like there are six things I need to discover here. I'm not sure how and or why else you would collect more human pieces. Freaking weird. You got that ghosty hum going on. I don't like it. I'm just saying. Ooh. Elevator. Try this again. Please, nothing appear in here. Don't let me fall through the floor again. That was terrifying. Whoa! Um. Past catches on. Or catches on or catches up. You wanna go? You wanna go? I'll fight. Okay. Oh, it's a vase. Oh, I can't grab it. The hell. Well, what the shit, man? Oh. Oh my God. Did you open the door? Creepy little son of a bitch. Oh, that's a no. That's absolutely not. I step in here, this door's gonna slam. How much you wanna bet me? I'm taking bets. Place your bets now, right here. I don't like you. Quit looking at me. I fucking knew it. I know it! Key? Nothing happened. Please. Please nothing happened. Okay. Good. Oh my god. That's a long one. Dear sir, well, I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe... We have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, 
I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. So, I find it extremely coincidental that we just happen to be using human skin as a canvas, and now all of a sudden my wife needs a skin graft. Huh. What do you know about that? What the f What the hell? What the God dang, man. They keep switching these rooms on me and it's throwing me way off. Another tiny room. Why did you stop? Oh the tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. So this was the the notes the the music pieces I found that were burnt, and I was wondering why. Okay, I can't burn them. Uh oh. Is this going to show me the skin graft thing part? Huh. Okay. So yeah, this dude, he was uh, not a cool guy. I'm assuming. Whoa. It's not a good sign. I don't know what's in here. Whoa. Okay, so there's an upstairs. Is there anything in here? No. Sounds like fire. I'm not opening any of these. Any of those. That just seems like a horrible idea to me. There might be quests. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. Just books. Thank God. I'm expecting to open one and there'd be a jump scare. Like my my skinless wife is gonna come screaming out at me. Cause I'm so not ready for that. I'm just saying. Oh god. Okay. Yep, uh-huh. Yep, I'm going this way. Oh. Hello. Anybody up here? Okay. We're gonna go this Oh, shit. I'm definitely gonna fall through this floor, right? That's... Oh, god damn it. That's definitely a thing that's gonna happen. Oh, god. What the hell is burning? All the furniture? What's this? Well... Yeah. Nice picture of me and the wifey. Out on a nice Sunday stroll. Maybe that's your reward for walking over the fire? I can't believe I didn't fall through. What? What 
What's that sound? Oh my god, don't tell me there's something in this. Oh god. Oh god damn it. Oh my god, there was a baby in it. Who the fuck puts a baby in the chest? Nobody puts baby in the chest. A chest that's in the corner. I'm not even... No, I'm not op reopening that to look at it. Fuck that. I get the gist. I get the horrible, horrible gist. Fucking open the door. Huh? Where am I at? Crashed, buddy. That room is boarded up. Rat traps. <gasps> hey, you missed the mouse trap. It was right there. What's this say? Make up your mind. Whose room that is? Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, door. Okay. Don't you worry. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Oh, wow. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia, and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. a psychologist, psychiatrist. Blank expression stares off into space. Yep. Involuntary facial movements. Apparently so. Insomnia. Haven't noticed that one. <laughs> yeah, apparently this character, he never sleeps. Uh, unusual gestures or postures. Always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movement might be from the accident. Prone to anger and resentment, more passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey? <laughs> Go ahead and put that back. Can I... nothing? Books. Books. Okay. I guess it's uh onto this store down here. Oh boy. Oh, this is definitely a a no bueno room. Can you stay fucking open? Open. No, stay. Bitch. Huh. Okay. So, um, you know that feeling you get when you walk into a room and you know something bad is going to happen? This room screams that to me. Can I, can I have a drink? I need a drink, man. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, thank God. Turn on a fucking light around here. Okay, I can't read that. What, uh... Is this just a room to walk through? Whee!
Wow, that's a lot of metals. I wonder whose they were. Okay. Oh, there's the famous painting. Everybody knows that one. Because that's what... That was a father that ate his son. I don't know if he turned into a monster and ate his son, or... What the case may be exactly with that, but... That's a very famous painting that's in, like, every horror game ever. Oh, shit! Whoa! What happened? Whoa! Dude, that's sick. Okay, that was freaking cool. I mean, the fact that it scared the bejesus out of me, not so much. <sighs> but the fact that it happened, pretty cool. Um... Okay, so that way leads straight to a clock. Oh, that's weird that it closed like that. What about this door? Okay. So. One-way trip it is, huh? Can I... Beautiful. I like that. Is this uh, something I can read? No? That's just a shitty old piece of paper. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This game is really, really messing with... What? I just saw that. That picture melted into something else. There was a rat on that table when I walked through here. And now there's not. What the F is going on right now? Where did the sound for the clock go? Are, are, are you serious? This is tripping me out real hard. Yep, love that. Cool painting. Oh, yep. Nothing like your daily rope. Gotta, gotta love that. It's just one thing after another with this game. Whoa. Is that a mirror? Can I see myself finally? No. Huh. I wish I could see myself. That'd be pretty tight. Spin it. Then unlock something. <laughs> oh, I wish. Okay, that didn't work either. Well, fine then. I guess. Does this make it another room? Yeah, there's different shit in the in the fruit bowl. Is this actually a mirror? Uh... Yeah, that's crazy. Um... God damn it. It cannot 
be undone. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I would want to go back on that side. That side looks fucked. Can I have a match? Can I, can I? No. Oh, okay, that one actually let me through it. It cannot be undone, it cannot be undone, it cannot be undone. Um, yep. About that. I don't like big long hallways. Nothing. What? Bork, bork. Pupper. Is that you? Um. Okay. I now have a hellhound. All right. Love that. Thanks. Thanks so much for that. I'm sorry, pupper. Thank you for lighting up the room, though. Big preach on that one. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. Yeah, this is the one I read in the very beginning of the game. No, put it back. What's that say? Good boy? Oh. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Oh. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I'm a dick. I know you said you wanted a cat, but I got us a dog. Jesus. Yeah, this this character, I don't even know the guy's name, but he is a freaking jackass, man. Oh. I don't like that. You want this as well? Do I- I want what as well? Don't fucking give me rhetorical questions. What? What? Oh! Hi. Why does it have paint on it? I don't like that. I, I'm I'm just I'm gonna go this way. Oh my god. Can can we go ahead and shut this so that it doesn't follow me? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. Well. Um. I think I've been going long enough. I'm sure there's much more to come. The more we delve into this story, the more of an absolute douchebag my character seems to be. So, whatever I get in the end, I'm sure I deserve it. I'm just saying. And... Yeah. Leave a like if you like this video, like this story, like this VR playthrough. Comment. Let me know your favorite part so far, if you agree. And, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh,